G'day, it's Pete here, and we're back again for another weekly free instant tournament. To get in, you want to go up to Solitaire, then weekly free. Uh, let's see what we can do. All right, uh, so here we've got um, 14 points, 6 4 shape, really good. So, start the club. If we found a heart fit, I'd be pretty enthused on this hand. Uh, partner basically won't have hearts here. Um, but, like, they. When partner bids a diamond, if they've either got diamonds or they've got like diamonds and a major game force, and when partner's passed, they won't have hearts. But I still like rounding out my shape here. Now, partner jumping to three diamonds is incredibly awkward. They're a past hand. They didn't want to open a week two in diamonds, but they've decided to jump. I think I want to bid three no, not because I necessarily think three no will make, but it might some of the time, and I'm not sure three diamonds will make anyway. I'm hoping I can get my clubs up and running early enough. Yeah, good cards, partner. Love the ace doubleton. So we've got two spades, two hearts, and a stack of clubs. Uh, I can get five club tricks. Uh, I can make this contract. So uh, the question is, do I want to try and play for six club tricks, which would be sort of doubleton king in the west hand? Or do I want to increase my chances of five club tricks, which would be maybe cashing the ace and then leading up towards the queen, jack nine? Um, that cashing the ace would be protected against singleton king. So I think I do want to go for the extra trick, but um, entries could get a bit communi uh, complicated, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Hey, David, thanks for coming in. How you doing? Um, I almost played low. I was like, no, actually, I did want to finesse. So that's what I decided, right? And another spade. Yep. And do clubs break? Anyway, okay, so we're making our contract. So now it's just about potential extra tricks. So, um, do I want to cash the king of hearts first? Don't see why. Um, maybe it would cl clear, clarify the position if uh, hearts were queen jack doubleton. But uh, we'll just run our cards here. One spade discard. Don't think the hearts are going to be good. Two spade discards. Right. Um, The opponents still have three spades, and West could have all of them potentially. I think I'm just cashing out, and um, we'll uh, pin the uh, we pinned the uh, Queen of Diamonds, but uh, to no avail. Seventy-one percent. So East had the five-card spade suit. Alright, so 3-0, making 71%, uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, someone did manage the extra trick, so just take a quick look. They won and clubbed the ace club, so they didn't choose the finesse. And then as they ran all the stuff... So at this stage, they can get a diamond and two spades. But both opponents discard half. Ah, oh, right. So, um, because they didn't finesse the club, they untangled their entry, which allowed uh, them to play heart to the king, heart back. Right. Uh, here I got a 12 count, six card diamond suit, one diamond, two diamonds inverted, three spades, like an absolutely annoying bid getting in there. I was quite optimistic for game. Um, like I could double, I would usually like this to be, hey, I've got a good hand, I want to do something, but maybe it's the robots play it as penalties. Um, I could pass here, partner could potentially bid three no with a stopper, um, but maybe we just want to be bidding four diamonds. So uh, I don't often try and get to four diamonds, but 
I want to keep three no alive, so I'll pass, but four diamonds could be the winning action. I, don't, I didn't really want to see partner pass it out there, which was inconvenient. Uh, so what sort of hand passes and then is willing to preempt three spades? So they either didn't have good enough suit quality or maybe they've got spades and hearts or uh, something along those lines. Well, that's a good dummy for them. It also means three no, it's probably cold. Uh, interestingly, so partner had five diamonds, as expected, but he said a void and they just discarded a club straight away. Um, so we've probably got the ace king of clubs. I don't know how many clubs they do have there. Um, but now they're trumping. So... Ace of spades. So the spades are 2-2, two, two, it looks like. Okay. Don't need all these diamonds. Okay, the spades are six. So they've got something like six spades, five hearts, two clubs, something like that. Yeah, so they've got a six, five in the majors. So I think we get one club trick. I've got the uh, rest from here. So how would we have gone in, I think we could make four diamonds, two spades and a heart to lose. Uh, so we've got 10 tricks in diamonds, um, but they can make game. A bunch of people in five diamonds down one. Yeah, so if you bid four diamonds, partner raises you to five. Yeah, as I said, I, I kind of wanted to get to four diamonds. Why are people going off in, what are people doing to go off in five diamonds too? You two spades. Oh, you have to find the Queen of Clubs still. Gotcha. There. Um, I did... Interesting one, though. 18 points. Uh, triple four, one. Uh, let's start with a diamond. Uh, just bid four hearts. I could consider something like three spades. Um, the triple four, one... Like the splintering with a singleton ace isn't great because it's not going to help partner evaluate like, hey, are the king, queen of spades that good? But with ace bidding spades, that's uh, a lot less likely. And if we're going to make slam, that could probably be the best way forward. Still don't like having a triple four one. I wasn't interested. Okay, so they've got a flat eight count and their queen of spades is waste paper. We've got a couple of diamond losers, a couple of club losers, maybe an issue in hearts. So, uh, well, I need to, I'm going to trump a spade in the north hand where I'm going to hope clubs are three, two. If suits don't break here, it's going to get pretty awkward. Okay, so with hearts 4-1, what do I want to do? Um, uh, I could just go ace, king, and clubs, club, give them a club, and... So I want to trump in the spade. I want to finesse west for the jack of hearts. I'd like to lead diamonds from the north hand. Maybe ace, king of clubs, diamond to the jack. Both suits not breaking. That's looking pretty ominous. The 
diamonds on side so far. Hmm. I think I'm going down at this stage, so it's just a matter of making sure I don't go down too much. I could rough a spade and I get the king of hearts. Oh, they trumped in there. Oh, wow. They orchestrated to give me the Ten of Diamonds at the end. That is impressive. I, I was aiming for down one, which as you can see, down one, 75%, and that would be fine score. How they let me make that, I don't know. What's the best you can do from the start? You can always make it. So spade lead. And Ace of Hearts, yeah. So far, so good. And they can't trump this. Um, they can't trump in here because if they do, uh, they're just trumping their partner's winner, so they discard. And now we take the Diamond Finesse. Finesse the Heart. Was I legitimately always cold from here? Wow. They have to cover this. All right. Okay, so at this stage, this is where they faulted. But if I played for a doubleton queen of diamonds and come out the king, you can legitimately do it. And seeing as I was just largely giving up, maybe I actually should have from that stage. Um, so... While I played a diamond to the jack, I, did, I knew where the queen of diamonds was. I didn't know for sure where the ace was. East had five spades. They had... Like we knew East had at least five spades. We also knew West didn't want to bid... Oh, so we knew West didn't want to bid by four spades. So maybe we know the shape. We, we know they've got a singleton heart. We know they've got five or six spades. We knew about the four clubs. You were really on the ball. Maybe you could have legitimately made that. Interesting one here. We've got uh, 12 high card points with uh, four hearts. Um, but we this doesn't meet the rule of 15. The rule of 15 is where in the pass out spot, you count your high card points and spades. And if that adds up to 15, you open. And if not, you pass. But I like this hand. I'm, I'm going to open. Uh, we found a heart fit, so that's good. So two hearts. Two hearts here, it didn't show anything extra, so I'm not exactly sure how partner can jump to four hearts. Um, they probably have a singleton diamond or something that made their hand better. Um, but here we are. Here I was trying to play for a part score, and we end up in game. Okay, so singleton diamond, I've got that. I've got a spade loser, two diamond losers, a club loser, and a bunch of hearts. I want to trump two diamonds. There's three passes. Partner's got 11, opposite my 12, so that's 23. There's 17 missing. West overcalled, east supported. Um, Four of spades lead. Well, I've always got a spade loser. Like, I'm not worried about if that's a singleton or anything. And nine of hearts is kind of annoying. I think I can duck one heart, see what happens. Yeah, I'm worried that that's a singleton. Nine of hearts and West has king, queen, ten. Yeah. Okay. We got a club discard. My 
Um, I, I've got a discard on the Ace of Spades. I could discard either a club or a diamond there. Still looks like um, hearts are 4-1. I suppose I could... I think I want to play a club over and then trump a diamond. There's the jack of clubs. Um, and uh, they'll get two hearts. We're down one from here. And they can save their tricks for the last if they want. That's fine. Um, four hearts was an okay spot. I wonder how many people passed it in. 85% for passing. I wasn't too sad about getting to four hearts. Obviously, the 4-1 split was really annoying. Um, also, when they led the nine of hearts, I didn't mention this, but I was looking at my pips and wondering if it was a singleton, but that pesky seven meant that I didn't really have any real chances of anything at, at the end. My pips weren't quite good enough, but um, yeah, down one, 60%, had a shot for game. Yeah. We're on to board number five, and we've got 18 hires, uh, four, one, five, three. So a bit of diamond, partner, a bit of spade. I'm just going to bid four spades. Partner is a past hand, but I still want to give game a shot. No interest in slam. The opponents have a 10 card heart fit, and neither of them bid. That's weird. And they've led a club, which really looks like a singleton club. But they don't know, like, they don't know the North's clubs are so good. So they can't see that it's clearly a singleton. Um, I just want to win and lead the Jack of Spades. Weird that the Tenor clubs went there. Okay, so we're still missing Queen Nine. Um, East is now showing up with two aces. All right. Um, so at this stage, if if East has a double to nine, I want to run the ten. If West has a double to Queen, I want to lead low, and the Queen will appear. But if spades are 4-1, I also want to run the 10. So I'll lead the 10 here just in case of West having four spades. Not to be, and uh, I've got all but one. Yeah, they're queen 9 third, 64%. So track net 68, so pretty good so far. Lots of people in four spades, pretty, pretty routine. Okay, 16 points, triple four one, singleton ace. I've got a couple of choices here. I could open a club, or I could actually just open a no trump. My singleton ace partner's not really gonna transfer to diamonds particularly often. If they do, singleton ace isn't the worst. And yeah, we'll give it a shot. One no three no. Also, the robots are unlikely to play me for the, the singleton ace. Um, Five of diamonds. We have four spades, two diamonds, it's six, a heart, seven. I want to finesse the hearts. I'm thinking of something like 10 of diamonds here. And if they cover, like they can't, don't know I've got a singleton ace. So uh, how often will they cover? I think it's okay to try. Um, looks kind of bad when... Um, he goes 10 small ace, um, but the ploy here is just to bait them to cover and also hide the fact that I've got the singleton ace. But that I don't particularly want to hide it um, because I don't really want them shifting to clubs, but that's what they're going to do when the finesse fails. No. All right. Uh, can I be greedy? 
I think the answer is no. So we're just going to cash our winners here and they can have the uh, last three. I'm just playing for a singleton jack. Could have finessed, but uh, 64%. Hundred percent. If uh, I manage to take the finesse there, um, a really nice seventeen count. Lots of aces and kings. I got some uh, tens. I really like uh, my lower honor being connected. Most of my points in my long suits. I think this is too good for a no trump. So I'm going to upgrade it to eighteen nineteen. And bid two no. Partner's checking, do I have three hearts? Do I have four spades? I can say I've only got two hearts, but I do have um, four spades in case that's what you're after. And we're in three no. All right, so partner's only got seven points. And if I open one no trump, they would transfer to heart and pass you there. So kind of need to justify upgrading this hand. And we've got two diamonds, a club, a heart is four, a spade is five. It looks like clubs are four, three. No real need to hold up, but I can. Um, we've got double finesses in hearts. Um, we've got double finesses in spades. So hold up. And then I'm going to run the tenor heart. Okay. So at this stage, if the other heart, if the hearts come in, I've got four hearts, the club is five, two diamonds is seven. The spade shift here just looks pretty ominous. Um, there's nothing saying that the hearts are coming in yet. Um, if I don't finesse, I basically don't have a chance, so. All right, so my ten of spades is a winner. Um. Uh, just hoping that, uh, ah, my two was a winner as well. Not what I was hoping for, but, uh, down two, three, seven percent. Most people in two hearts went down. Um, I did beat the one other person in three, no, but King Jack Dalton heart. So here the King Jack of hearts were offside and the King of spades were offside. You swap these hands around, three no is going to romp at home. So um, three no is pretty pushy on these cards, but it still felt pretty good, um, except until I went down three. But uh, here, 59% uh, uh, going into the final board. 19 high cards. I'm not going to upgrade this one. Queen Jack Doubleton's not looking uh, pretty. And we're in uh, three no. All right, we've got four hearts, three clubs, the two aces is nine. Um, want to try and build tricks in diamonds or spades. And I think I just want to see if diamonds are three, three, or if the diamond finesse works. I'm just going to duck a diamond here. Um, if diamonds were three, three, I've always got a loser, but also just, oh, that's nice. 
Also, just in this hand, there, there wasn't anything particularly good to do. I don't need to rush to see if diamonds are 3-3, three, three, so we'll start on spades. Okay, and they're picking up the spades for us. Um, I can just force out the other spade, and then we've got the uh, rest. I should have tested if diamonds were 3-3, three, three maybe, because I didn't actually need that, so... Like, my nine spades is a winner, but I got too many winners, so... Uh, missed a chance there to genuinely play for extras, but... Uh, 57. So, uh, reasonably happy with that. Um, I think there was a few cool hands in there. I, board seven was a pretty bad board, but I think that was all fine. Board three, I got uh, pretty fortunate on. Um, but I think there's ones about uh, like hands that don't quite fit the bill. Do you try it? Like, what about board six? What are your thoughts on opening one no trump on this sort of hand? Anyway, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.